So, this is a re-recording of an audio that I made for this video like a week ago, and I just completely forgot about it. I'm re-recording the audio mainly because it sounded really, really, like, god-awful when I, uh, first recorded it, because it was mostly like, like, um, uh, fucking, uh, um, like, so, I'm gonna re-record the audio. But that's not the main point of this video. The main point of this video is, why did Warlander die? Seriously. Why did it die? What led to it dying? So, as I should be showing on screen right now, unless I screwed something up, uh, is the current Warlander player count, plus its all-time peak. And, you know, its daily peak at the time of taking the screenshot. It is pitiful. I mean, like, I got Happy Wars footage going in the background. There's probably more people playing that game daily peak than there are Warlander players. And, and there's several reasons for that. Uh, I should also now be showing the uh, peak and decline. And if you look, it lasted approximately two weeks. Two weeks. That is it. You get two weeks of Warlander, and that's all. Uh, so what led to it? First off, first off, we should talk about uh, the companies itself. Toy Logic, they make some pretty alright games. Not gonna lie, they're they're doing some pretty good stuff. Happy Wars is fun, and so is uh, or so was Happy Dungeons when it was still a thing. Um, but they also partnered with Play On, which on honestly, they they uh, Play On doesn't have that much of a track record. They, they have a, they've got some games, uh, they're mostly a publisher, they're also a game developer, uh, like, for example, they published Poyo Poyo Tetris, that's something, I guess, I mean, who's out here playing Poyo Poyo Tetris? Oh, and deal or no deal for the Wii. Or Pax Land. Which is apparently a 3D puzzle game inspired by Pac-Man. Yeah, they don't really publish anything uh, big. <clears throat> uh, and when they do make games, it ends up being shit like uh, Warlander. So... Um, oh, you you could play Mac Jong. That's something. But um, yeah, Play On just does not develop many games, which uh, probably is why they're fucking terrible at balancing. Okay, uh, so what? So let's talk about the Warlander game itself. Warlander started high because everyone was hyped. Everyone was hyped because they're like, hey, check out this new realistic looking combat game. You could have 50 v 50 battles, which I don't I don't really know how the servers were able to handle that. I mean, you do that with TF2 servers and they just fucking collapse. Or you could have, you know, five or you could you know, have a uh, five teams converging all at once battles. Those were kind of interesting. But very quickly, everyone in the Happy Wars community realized that, hey, this is just Happy Wars without any of the charm or, you know, the aspects that made it fun. And then we have to talk about the balancing nightmare that was, um, Warlander. You had, you know, you have your base classes, you have your warrior, your cleric, and your mage. The mage, if you could utilize the mage properly, was just so broken. I mean, its moves were, like, way too powerful. Like, way more powerful than any class deserves to be. Um, the warrior was, like, an unkillable tank, almost. And the cleric was just really, really underpowered. You couldn't self-heal, which was really stupid. Uh, you could revive and heal your allies, but you couldn't self-heal. Which I thought was really, really dumb. Because if you get into a skirmish and you're the only cleric on your team, uh, what the fuck are you gonna do? In addition to that, all the character, 
uh, customization options were unbelievably limited. Like, you couldn't even change, like, the gender of your characters. So if you wanted to have a male cleric or a female mage, God forbid you have a female warrior, good lord. And, uh, I don't really know why. Oh, uh, and then we come to the worst part. The unbelievably, uh, dreaded battle pass. These fuckers were really going to implement a battle pass. And I don't even think this is like a toy logic thing. I wouldn't... I don't think I can blame them for the battle pass. Because I don't think... I don't think toy logic is going to put in a fucking battle pass. Because, uh... They've kind of made themselves known to have just gambling in their games. And... You know what? Honestly, I'd rather have gambling in a game than a battle pass. Because battle passes are so fucking stupid. I made an entire video about battle passes. I hate them. I hate them so much. Um, but the mage... I'm going back to the balancing. The mage was entirely just completely busted. It had lightning arrows, like it does in Happy Wars, but it could, like, solo use them. As well as, like, bird attacks that were really stupid and broken and basically they could just solo like a tank or just solo a warrior from half the from across half the map as well as the game had a lot of um graphical issues it required a really beefy computer to run like my computer is not bad my computer is pretty good uh it doesn't really struggle to run a whole lot but it was chugging when it was running Warlander, and I have a theory as to why it would be doing that. Um, so, Warlander is trying to render every single detail of all of the map, the big ass, detailed ass map, all at once on your computer. Like, maybe, like maybe client side, it should render only the stuff that's around you and not try and render everything, because it causes immense lag. Like, it is so, so bad. Uh, see, with Happy Wars, it was fine. Because Happy Wars does not take a ton of power to run. Because it's, ju it's just polygons, it's really nothing big. But Warlander is a lot more complex, there's a lot more polygons per model. As opposed to Happy Wars, where... This sh goddamn shit could run on, like, a uh, fucking GameCube. Um, yeah, they're, they really could have optimized it better, made it a little more playable. Apparently there's a really big cheating problem, which I know there's kind of a cheating problem with Happy Wars sometimes, with people lag switching and some people actually cheating somehow, but, um, there is... There is a big, big cheating problem with Warlander, at least when it was active. And also, they had considered porting it to Xbox One, but they decided to just put it on uh, Xbox, the Series X and S. So that just did not make a whole lot of sense to me. Like, maybe the processing, maybe the uh, Xbox could not process it well. Like, it, it just chugs too hard. But that's all I have to say. Oh, thanks to uh, Save Your Light to for giving me uh, this idea. Well, I had the idea and then I re-recorded the, the audio, but uh, I watched his video, so I'll leave it in the description for you guys to check out. Bye.